All right, guys, we have a lot of info to unpack for Global Dokkan. There's a lot going on here. This is kind of a saga of different things. Uh, first thing I want to mention is we first got this info uh, several hours ago. I think it was, like, it was like 14 hours ago or something, where there was this supposed leak of Super Battle Road and also info regarding, I believe, the Chinese New Year, which is kind of a celebration. Now, I remember on Global last year, uh, I was only playing Global at the time, and there was the uh, the Lunar Celebration where we got the LR Androids and Tech Golden Frieza. So that was a couple weeks. That was at the end of January, but still a similar time frame. So this stuff was posted earlier. Now, I, I do want to mention that this guy right here, Koal or Kawai, it's, yeah, it's Kawai. Uh, this dude is legit. Uh, this is one of the French data miners. There's this guy, and there's also another dude uh, called Seriously. They keep giving us info that turns out to be correct. Like, they are always on the ball. They're legit. So, as soon as I saw this coming from these guys, I knew that they're, you know, if it's not all the way true, there at least is, like, truth in it, right? Like, even if they're not coming on that exact day, they're probably coming very, very soon. Well, sure enough... A little while ago, we actually got the in-game announcement on Global that uh, Vegito, physical Vegito, appears to be coming in two days, which is a lot earlier than even some info we're going to check out. And also, Super Battle Road is coming very soon as well. Uh, looks like that's going to be four days from now. No, three. One, two, th no, it's four. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, so... We've got Super Battle Road, and we also have uh, Physical Vegito coming. Like, uh, the whole timeline of events is wacky because, like, there's a whole bunch of conflicting dates. But it looks like throughout the next, like, two weeks, there is going to be a steady stream of content for Global. Uh, Super Battle Road, New Awakenings, Physical Vegito, the Turn of Power story event maybe as well. So let's kind of go through uh, everything uh, in order here. I tried to gather up as much info as I could. Uh, what we have here... This is the new uh, physical Vegito stage. Uh, it is a Dokkan event that will give you new Vegito medals, as well as uh, coming with the Dokkan Fest banner of the new Vegito. Uh, I believe Vegito is right here. Okay, this is the new physical Vegito that's coming to Global. This guy is amazing. I think he's one of the more underrated cards. Not a lot of people talk about him, but he's absolutely insane. Uh, he reduces damage from normals by 50%. Counters with tremendous power, so his counters are basically the same strength level as Super Vegito, but this physical Vegito gets an additional 10% attack every time he's hit, all the way up to 100%, which makes him an incredibly valuable unit. Uh, his links are not the best, because uh, he has Super Saiyan, Prepare for Battle, Fuse Fighter, Power Bestowed by God, In Fighter, Golden Warrior, and Fierce Battle. If they got rid of In Fighter and Golden Warrior and gave him... Uh, shocking speed, and then maybe, well, he doesn't do the Kamehameha, so we couldn't give him Kamehameha, I don't know, keep Golden Warrior, but get rid of Infighter for shocking speed, he would be a lot better, it would make, like, the Majin Buu Saga team a lot more viable, now, when this guy came out on JP, uh, he also came with the brand new STR farmable Vegito, but y'all on Global already got that, I'm positive that was a mistake, Clearly, they were uh, about to implement the Stage and Vegito at the same time as LR Vegito Blue, but I think they fucked up and accidentally made the Vegito farmable, so they just released it super early. But it looks like uh, the farmable Vegito was supposed to come out, like, in two days from now, so that's very interesting. So, uh, should you guys summon for this Vegito? No. Uh, I would say no, because <laughs> there's stuff coming... Uh, on global that y'all should save for the reason I say this I always say this if you're free to play don't go for a banner like physical Vegito uh, I should have brought Vegito's banner up let me bring uh, physical Vegito's banner up really fast do not summon for physical Vegito he is incredible absolutely a unit worth summoning on but his banner is shit bro don't summon on him I know they might change up future banners they they probably will because uh, Physical Vegito, he was just on LR Vegito's summonable banner on the 3 anniversary for JP. But here's the thing. Physical Vegito's banner is really bad. You have Physical Vegito is the only new card. And then you have Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, who is unbelievably amazing, incredible. But 
I strongly discourage y'all from summoning because you're not going to get a lot of value out of pulling Kid Buu, Buhan, uh, Tech Super Saiyan 3, Gotenks, or even in Ultimate Gohan. Save for the Tech Vegito Blue banner and the SCR Rose banner, which ha is a plethora a plethora of category leads and 120%. Sam, I, <laughs> y'all, <laughs> I can't, y'all gotta forgive me. I can't talk today. I, I, <laughs> I was going to cover this info earlier, but I was actually working on my, uh, the president of Bandai video, if some of y'all saw that, and I was going to make this video earlier, but I had to, I had to get some rest, so I, I slept, woke up, and now I'm, you know, doing this video right here. The Tech Vegito Blue and SCR Rosé banners, they're, they're not really celebration banners, but they're a W Dokkan Fest filled Omega Shenron, Cooler, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, Super Saiyan 3 AGL Goku, tons of good units. So if you summon on the banner and don't get Tech Vegito Blue, you're still going to get a lot of good shit. If you summon on this banner for Physical Vegito and you don't get him, you're not going to get good shit unless you get Gotenks. It's only those two. I strongly discourage y'all from summoning for him. Wait, be patient. What y'all, if y'all are going to play global and be like intentionally be months behind, then make sure you're using your stones wisely when you can get maximum value. I, I did a po I did a video on this a while back, uh, breaking down a uh, Konal over on the Dokkan subreddit, his posts about how many stones free to play players get. And the consensus is if you summon on only key banners, you will be able to get yourself really good cards. But if you're tossing stones in every banner, or if you summon on banners that honestly suck fucking ass like this one, you're, you're very likely to get shafted. You're going to walk out of here with Int Kibu, who's fine, but no one fucking uses him. So you'll never get to use him. So I, I just, I, I would say, hold your horses, wait for Tech Vegito Blue or something else. So we, we looked at that. Looked at Vegito's banner. We looked at Vegito. Uh, two days, that's coming. Super Battle Road is coming as well. Uh, now, a lot of I think a lot of global players are underestimating uh, Super Battle Road. A lot of people think that they're going to be able to beat it. Uh, you have to be a whale of whales in order to beat this and to get the new LR that is coming, which is this one right here. LRK Gohan is a pretty bad card all around. His leader skill is okay, but, I mean, everything else, he's just not good. He, he's a trophy card for beating Super Battle Road. And the way you get him is if you beat all five Super Types, you get a copy. If you beat all Extreme Types, you get a copy. If you beat uh, every stage, I think, of Super Battle Road, uh, you get two copies. And then if you beat Super Battle Road any stage 20 times, you get uh, the, fi the final copy. So... Certain people, uh, certain whales will definitely be able to beat Super Battle Road, but this is a lot tougher than y'all are going to give it credit for. You will you guys will see soon, but uh, I do think uh, a lot of you guys on Global have been able to properly prepare for it, you know, giving your units some dodge and other things, so I think y'all will be fine. Uh, just remember, units come out that destroy Super Battle Road. Don't freak out because you can't beat it right away. I, I thought a lot of people were, you know, being very naive about that, now, it's like, oh my god, this mode sucks. It's like, well, no, we're not supposed to go in and fucking dominate it right away. Like, you know, there's going to be units that'll come in the future that will allow us to beat it easily. Like the new LR Gogeta and LR Vegito absolutely obliterate this mode like nothing. So, uh, don't stress it too much if you're not able to beat it. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Uh, the physical type banner actually just dropped on global, and with it came two new uh, awakenings. Uh, great Saiyan Man goes into this Great Saiyan Man Super Saiyan 2 right here with the shades on. And then this old OG ass, uh, this is a villain card, by the way. Super Saiyan Vegeta, uh, Dokkan's into this Super Saiyan Vegeta. Uh, we have both of those right here. The Great Saiyan Man's pretty good. 90% uh, attack at the start of turn, and then his links are very good. Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Shocking Speed, Hero of Justice, Prepare for Battle, Kamehameha, Shattering Limit. A lot of really viable links, um, especially including like the fact that he has Shattering Limit. Usually he's pretty bad, but like LR Trunks also has Shattering Limit, so that helps out a lot. Uh, they he Okay, him and LR Trunks, they get six key. This guy gives six key to LR Trunks because they have Shocking Speed, Prepare for Battle, and Shattering Limit. And they also have Super Saiyan, which is a 10% attack link. So this guy is a very good partner for LR Trunks if you're able to pull him. Uh, he can really make LR Trunks a lot stronger. Uh, he also is in the Boo Saga category as well as the Hybrid Saiyan category. Uh, pretty good unit. Um, the Vegeta, on the other hand, is kind of trash. He's fodder. Uh, attacked enemies attack, minus 40%. 
Link, uh, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Warrior Race, Golden Warrior, Royal Lineage, Shattering Limit, and Prepare for Battle. His links absolutely suck for Extreme Physical. Uh, he's not going to be able to help you out very much at all. And in order for him to even be good, you're going to need him in like the first slot because he has to attack the enemy to lower their attack by 40%. Uh, regardless, I do think he is fodder, so don't really worry about him. Uh, Alright, so here we have Kawhi uh, putting a post in here, uh, gathering all the info. This was removed. I presume this was removed by a mod who didn't know who Kawhi was, because uh, Kawhi was, like, gathering all the info. Because, like, a ton of people post info that he posts all over the place on the Dokkan subreddit, but, like, they're just like, oh, credit to Kawhi and stuff. But, like, Kawhi if himself, like, kind of compiles it and puts it all there. It, it means a little bit more coming right from the horse's mouth. Uh, there was something in particular uh, I wanted to see that he was posting down here. I think it was this, because someone asked if uh, LR Trunks and Goten are coming too. He said no, and then he said nothing announced, and someone was like, well, they don't announce stuff. And then he said, by announce, I wanted to say leaked, so like they saw the info. So here, this is a post uh, that I wanted to bring up right here. Uh, this is a bunch of info on stuff that is supposedly coming to uh, global. And when I say supposedly, it is basically coming to global. What is this, by the way? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this Vegeta. Also, I brought up the Goku. Where is the Super Saiyan Goku at? Hold on. Let me just bring up this Goku real fast. We're about to uh, look at these characters because it looks like these Awakenings are coming to global uh, very soon. Uh, this guy right there. Okay. Uh, all right, so... Uh, there is supposedly a sale coming, uh, that would make sense if it's a big celebration, which obviously is cool, sales are fucking awesome, but at Infinity Stones on Twitter for a better sale if you catch my drift, my boy. Uh, alright, so, Super Vegito is set on Monday, uh, which does appear to be the case, yes. So, uh, nine hours ago or ten hours ago, they were correct, uh, because we did just get it in the news two days from now, that is Monday, so Physical Vegito is coming on Monday, even though the release date they said was the 14th, but no, it's not going to be the 14th. It's going to be on Monday. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the in-game notice is wrong, and it will actually be the 14th. One of these two dates. Uh, new Kaioshin missions are coming uh, that will give new Pitara medals. Now, supposedly, uh, LR Vegito Blue will actually be like fully awakenable during this celebration. Uh, it's not like confirmed, confirmed, but a lot of people in the note uh, seem to think it is going to happen. So be prepared for that. Uh, LR Vegito Blue should finally be being released during this whole celebration. Uh, a new banner is coming, the Universal Survival Saga banner. Let me go ahead and hit this. Uh, he's got the links here. How very nice of him to do that. Uh, yeah, this was the uh, Universal Survival Arc banner. This is not necessarily a Turner of Power banner because this is focusing on the beginning of the Universal Survival Arc Saga, basically from when uh, the Zen Exhibition match where Goku, Gohan, and Boo were fighting, uh, you know, the trio of dangers and Goku fights Topo and then, you know, recruits all the various members. So here's the banner. Uh, you have 17, Skinny Boo, uh, Kale Khalifa. You have Topo, Bergamo, and Hit. Skip this banner. Don't fucking summon on this banner. Don't do it. But LRs are on this banner. I know a lot of people's got LRs off this banner. I believe Nano got an LR off this banner, but... I strongly recommend you do not summon on this banner because none of these units are like insane OP. Like, oh my God. Like 17 is very disappointing for how dominant 17 is in the show. He's not really that good because he, he gets attack and defense 50% up and then he gets uh 12% attack for every tech orb. Uh, he's, uh, wait, is that... That, let, let me confirm that's actually what he does. That sounds right, but hold on. Let me see. Android 17. Uh, Dragon Ball Super Android 17. So yeah, he gets attack and defense 50% and then 12% attack for every tech orb. The problem is that uh, I, I'm not a fan of the non-consistent units. And obviously, uh, getting all those tech orbs wouldn't be very consistent. So more than likely, his attack is going to be like, you know, what, like 62 or 74. It's not going to be that much higher than that. But, I mean, he's okay. But he, he's not worth summoning on. Absolutely not. The Skinny Boo is okay. He's got Shocking Speed, which works good on Super AGL. Topo is really good for Super SCR, but there's better options. Obviously, Super SCR is super stacked now on Global with uh, LR Vegito Blue about to drop, as well as the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta and Bulma. So, y'all do not need Topo. 
Bergamo's okay, and then I know y'all don't want hit. So, Banner's cool, but uh, definitely skip it. These units will all be unfeatured in uh, Banner's uh, moving forward, so y'all will probably be able to pull a couple of them here and there. Uh, I, I strongly recommend not going for it. Uh, the Universal Survival Saga event. Someone said T.O.P. event with a question mark. It is not the Turn of Power event. Um, I am pretty sure we're going to get a Turn of Power event uh, in the future. But it, it's only the beginning of the Universal Survival Arc Saga. Uh, Y'all got to forgive me. I should have brought this one up earlier as well. Uh, let me head over to Japan. And right here. Okay, here it is. So what, this, what comes with this is... Uh, there is a farmable uh, base form Goku who Dokkan awakens into uh, an Ultra Instant Goku with these medals from the final stage. So you can farm up uh, Ultra Instant Goku Super Attack. Uh, there is this girl drops Urine. Uh, she's a pretty good free-to-play tech option. Uh, I was using her with great effect to get myself LR Frieza. Uh, she's pretty good at, in terms of stunning. Uh, there also is a farmable uh, Ultimate Gohan. So if you guys were smart and did not use Kai's on SCR Ultimate Gohan or other Gohans like that, you can now farm him up. Uh, there is a farmable Angel Frieza, which you can use to uh, Dokkan Awaken into an Angel Golden Frieza. And then you can farm up uh, the Summonable Angel Golden Frieza, which should be coming sometime soon. Uh, and then there's some medals that will actually allow you to uh, get this Angel Golden Frieza. Now, the number one thing that's not talked about here that I do got to talk about is the fact that when this came out on JP, it was only four stages long. Uh, it only went up to... Uh, the stage with Topo right here. Only these first four stages. Then, after Ultra Instinct Goku and Golden Frieza and them came out, new stages were added. So, uh, be very cautious. Like, just because this uh, story arc is coming does not mean that Ultra Instinct Goku is going to be farmable right off the bat. It might take some time, like with JP, or they might release it all at the start. Like, uh, unlike JP, we don't know for sure. Uh, there are new medals coming to Global. Uh, let me go ahead and bring these up. These are the Nimbus Cloud medals. Uh, you get these from doing time trials on Dokkan events, like beating certain Dokkan events in a certain time, uh, beat a Dokkan event basically with a, a whole team with Metamorphosis. Uh, it's kind of like the Patara medal, uh, like, category, like, okay, you guys know how you get the Patara medals on the, the quest mode, right? Basically, these are the same thing, except they're on Dokkan event boss fights. It's these medals right here. Uh, I had a ton of fun going for them. As you can see, there's four units that awaken from them. LR Bojack, LR Trunks and Goten, Super Saiyan Goku, and Super Vegeta are all units that awaken from those medals. And then here we go. We have a new uh, Double Rates banner with the uh, Super Vegeta as well as this angry Super Saiyan Goku. This Goku is okay. 90% uh, attack. And then, you know, his links are fine, I guess. Prepare for battle, Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, Kamehameha, Z Fighters. Uh, Shattering Limit, I guess, isn't that good. But now that LR Vegito Blue is on the team, maybe Shattering Limit will be a little bit more uh, useful. He also does greatly raise attack, which, of course, is a 50% buff. Uh, and then uh, Super Vegeta, which uh, the last time I checked was actually optimal on Super AGL. Uh, he's a very good unit. Uh, Supreme Damage and raises attack for nine turns. And then power brought to bear, uh, AGL, SCR, and physical types keep plus suit and attack and defense 25%. Uh, and then links are Golden Warrior, Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Prodigies, Z Fighters, Soul vs. Soul, and Shattering Limit. So his links are, aren't really great. Uh, he does have Shattering Limit for LR Trunks and Goten and LR Majin Vegeta, but he doesn't have Prepare for Battle or Shocking Speed, which does hurt. But then again, he's a support unit, so it's not that, that, that big a deal. Uh, so that basically does cover all of the info. Now, I'm going to say this. Some of these dates might not be correct, but coming from these guys, I personally do believe that this is all legit. I do. Uh, I do think all of this is coming to Global soon. So it looks like February and, you know, some of this might come out at the beginning of March, might be February. February is going to be a very busy time on Global. Uh, good news. If y'all are curious how far Global is behind right now, uh, Physical Super Vegito came out on Halloween night uh, on JP, so that's not that far behind. What is that, like uh, three and a half months, something like that? But Angel Golden Frieza came at the beginning of October, so 
Weird that Angel Golden Frieza is not yet announced or coming on Global. I'm not really sure why that is. Uh, Global will definitely get him, though. Don't be concerned about that. All the God lead cards are always going to be coming to Global. The Dokkan Fest, no reason to be concerned. Regardless, so y'all, thank you for watching. Sorry I was stuttering a lot. Uh, <laughs> I'll catch you guys next time. Later.